So 2017 has been a pivotal year in terms of pulling together all sorts of different entities from across the Shotley Peninsula. We've had community groups, we've had schools, we've had public sector agencies and commercial bodies who have all found a common theme and an interest in the form of Arthur Ransom to celebrate for this year. It's the 50th anniversary of Ransom's death and also the 80th anniversary of the book that he wrote about this area called We Didn't Mean to Go to Sea. The Heritage Lottery Fund are particularly interested in funding um, heritage messages to children. It was all about helping young people get access to their locality and understand the riverscape, and not just the landscape of where they live. Our joint strategic plan speaks about uh, a positive relationship with our communities and working with them so that they can achieve their potential. We talk about something called an appreciative inquiry, which is a way of looking at assets and attributes that communities have that are positive. Uh, and this Arthur Ransom project fell right into that category. The year has allowed people to come and share those ideas and tell people who live here and people from further afield about what Ransom did in the area. And the area has so many interesting parts that were really encapsulated by Arthur Ransom's writing. So his way of portraying clean, honest fun of splashing around in the mud, of messing around on boats, is a clear uh, indicator of what people can actually really experience on the Shortly Peninsula. We proposed that he be the centre of the celebrations for the, the group this year and uh, from there on we've just sort of taken it forward with the group in, in many different ways. Very privileged to be part of it all. I, I love local history, I love the connection that uh, Pin Mill has with Arthur Ransom and uh, the whole boat building industry and just the, the whole kind of community getting together and celebrating the anniversary of the, the build of the boat. We went to the, the, the various meetings and it transpired that if we could organise a parade of sail um, up down the river, we'd get as many boats following Nancy Blackett as she set off for Holland, uh, that would be quite a spectacle and that's what we tried to organise. I've always been an Arthur Ransom fan um, and as a little boy I read all the books and I would think a large proportion of the people who sail out of here uh, got into sailing through Arthur Ransom, through having had that fantasy that he portrayed. I think there's two groups of people, them that love Arthur Ransom and the series of books, the Swallows and Amazon series, but then there's another group of people that had heard of um, you know, the Arthur Ransom, Swallows and Amazons, but didn't really engage and didn't really understand um, that Arthur, Arthur Ransom had such a great connection with Suffolk. I met people down at Pym Mill looking at the information board uh, and, and they've said, oh, we're in the process of reading the book now, we're here on holiday, and when we've read it, we're going to do the trail. Um, yeah, what more can we ask for? Fabulous. I think people are really understanding, um, you know, maybe where he stayed next door at uh, Alma Cottage, maybe why the book was based there, um, you know, the fact that he had boats built locally. So I think people are understanding his connection more with, with the area and why he loved it so much. Being involved in this project for us has been a perfect opportunity to sort of show how the council can work across all of its different departments and teams and also just sort of stimulating the community and the businesses to get involved together. So work with the community and say, look, you know, there's this opportunity here to apply for funding. What would you like to see happen? And so we very much wanted, you know, the, the whole essence of what, what took place to come from the ground up. The applicants were all local not-for-profit organisations. We've got some great businesses and attractions that have been really proactive and really great community organisations that have also got involved. I've seen a lot of people walking around with visitor guides and, and doing the walks. Uh, we may not be Wordsworth or Shakespeare or anything like that, but we do have our own little gem now in this corner of Suffolk. I'm sure that there's been a few more people um, coming down to Pimmel. I mean, the, the actual Arthur Ransom jamboree that we had, I think we saw a few thousand people come during the day. We've made lots of friends amongst the local community, amongst the sailing community, amongst the schools, amongst people in the area. I think everybody enjoyed the pin mill uh, events where we saw those amazing pictures and also experienced, you know, 
what boats looked like in those days and the, the children running about the village, that, that was a real highlight. The Arthur Ransom celebrations for us has been really helpful because we've been looking for extra attractions to bring walkers to Shortley. A leaflet was produced, this is the Arthur Ransom walking trail leaflet and it follows the route of the Goblin which was the boat in which the children sailed in the novel and that um, is, is a, a, a guide that helps people as they walk along the trail with references and extracts from the book. At the concert that was held at the Ipswich High School we had the London Symphonia Orchestra that came to work with the children. And, and so the songs sort of follow Arthur Ransom's book in as much as it starts leaving, leaving the river and goes out to sea, we get lost a bit and we find our way again. So it, it follows that, that path and the trials and tribulations along the way. Everybody's been very enthusiastic, especially about the way it binds the community together, the different demographics, the different schools, the different uh, age groups. It's a, a real community event. Well, and we've had schools coming down to visit Nancy Blackett. They really responded and it was just a joy to be, be with them. Today we are at Pin Mill on a geocache treasure hunt. It's like a treasure hunt, like the Goonies. It's just treasure yeah. hunting, following the map thingy. I've lived around this area for nearly three years now. I've never been down here before. Didn't even know it existed until today, but I do now. Inside the box are lots of things to read and do and best of all stamp your card to say that you've been found the treasure. We all enjoy living here because it's next to the rivers and seeing the ransom activities on the rivers have been a real highlight of the year. We have always been keen on bringing primary schools down here so we took them out. Pretty much everybody who wanted to took the helm and uh, by the end, they, their water confidence had dramatically <laughs> improved. We got over 65 children out. They all came back with big smiles on their faces and it was really good. I think it's done a great thing for the village, the area and Arthur Ransom. Five primary schools across the peninsula worked with the local artist Ruth Richmond to create illustrations inspired by Arthur Ransom. These were then transferred onto sails and the children were provided with the opportunity to sail on the River Orwell. The children visited the Nancy Blackett boat which was owned by Arthur Ransom and featured as the goblin in the book We Didn't Mean to Go to Sea. The Royal Harwich Yacht Club organised a flotilla of yachts to see us off down the river which was quite spectacular. A good 30 odd boat turned up, some boats that we weren't really anticipating turned up. We uh, put on uh, support at the Arthur Ransom event at Pin Mill which was very very successful. Uh, my only problem was I never got to see anything ha happening on shore, it's on the water all the time. We had a, a little stall where we sell souvenirs, books and so forth and uh, that, in all the 20 years we've been doing that kind of thing, it was the most successful financial day that we've ever had. And it was good fun as well. <laughs> we know there's economic development going on here and every weekend you can see more and more people coming down to have a look. So yes, the future is definitely bright. My favourite moment was at the Jamboree um, and the vintage cinema bus uh, where they'd got some of the old Pathé films and it was showing all how it used to look so many, many years ago and it obviously was evoking lots of memories from the people that were watching it. We're at Pin Mill on the Orwell where the book We Didn't Mean to Go to Sea uh, begins. It was published 80 years ago and we're really excited because today we're doing a marathon reading. We're reading through the whole entire book. The story starts at Pin Mill and finishes at Pin Mill, so it is key. It couldn't really be read anywhere else. This is the first time I've been in Pin Mill Sailing Club, I think, since I was 10. Uh, although I've come to Pin Mill a lot and we're here for a reading of Arthur Ransom's We Didn't Mean to Go to Sea, which is a sort of relay reading in which everybody's reading a chapter of this seminal sailing book. The Bristol Arms offered to host a party for children to support the, the peer project and to support the Arthur Ransom uh, themed walk. So yeah, it's a conclusion of a really successful festival and I think thanks should go to a lot of the backroom staff who are unnamed, unseen, but have done a tremendous job in pulling it all together. The important thing about this book for Arthur Ransom is it's the one book that's for real. In all the other books, they play around at being pirates uh, and, uh, and swallows and Amazons and all this stuff. This is for real. 
Well, I think it's been quite innovative because I've lived here for 20 years and the tourist action group that we got together to celebrate this, uh, this year, I'd never met most of those business people and the cultural events that were going on together. Somehow it's united us and made us feel like a team. It's been really interesting to see that evolve. Uh, well, I think you've only got to really look back at the footage from our year to measure that impact. I mean, it's interesting how one does measure it. I mean, do you, do you look at it on commercial terms, so how much money tourism, this tourism activity has brought into the area, or do you look at it on the PR value that is created from various pieces that have been in the national press in terms of raising the profile for the area? Or perhaps more importantly, it is around the social cohesion and the community groups and uh, right down to that personal feel-good factor or whether there is a well-being improvement to the area. Those are all different measurements and they need to be taken into account in when we look back to see how successful the year has been. What we've seen in the last year through the uh, work done by Suffolk County Council, Baber District Council through their communities team and the Shotley Peninsula Tourist Action Group, the catalyst that set us on the trail looking at Arthur Ransom, looking at the walking festival, looking at Walk as a Welcome and we made those things happen because of the, the way the councils introduced us to those initiatives. So it's very much a partnership and we, we hope and expect that to continue. It's got us all in one room talking about Arthur Ransom but also more importantly knowing about each other's business and there are lots of follow-on legacies that are going to come out of having this initiative. Communities working together with the people within their communities to deliver something, something tangible that was really, really positive, a positive demonstration of what this beautiful part of the country is all about. The one bit that we shouldn't forget about is actually how the public sector agencies have supported the community, both community groups and business groups in the area. And that has been a clear benefit for this year. It's brought Arthur Ransom's East Coast alive and hopefully it will go on being a successful partnership and something that people enjoy and take part in for a long time to come.